Right, welcome to the Puggle channel today. I am on beam, NG Dodd Drive, and today I'm driving around. Very nice drift. Around the endurance course that was spelt wrong by myself. Because, you know, that makes sense. And I've lost the back end. Now, you may question the very vigorous amount of wheel spin from this car. It's not normal, no. But, this Mirama is not only slightly upgraded, because it's a rally car, but it's also rear-engined, which makes it very fun to drive. But it's more likely to brake much quicker than any car that was a very big clock. Now, what I've noticed about this Marama, or really any Marama, they have the most weak steering tie rods there are, or weak suspension arms. They just break, and then you're done for. There's the engine. Oh! Oh, that is less... That wheel has been completely crushed. Well, that's, um, unfortunate. And I think I've lost steering at the same, at the same time. Yeah, no, I've lost, I've lost steering as well. Well, now we hope that the other car does better. And we go to our next vehicle. This is the ETK 800 Series Ute. The Ute is very simple. It's a police car. The police car, honestly, the best livery there is. Also, the most floaty suspension there is. Oh, it's got Bentley air suspension. Well, that's what it feels like. I don't understand why they don't use these for our police vehicles in the UK. This would be sensible. If I knew the button to turn the flashes on, that's not the word I was looking for. The, um, blues and twos. If I knew how to turn them on, I would. Ah. Okay, currently, no bumpers have fallen off. That is a succession. Succession. We are pulling slightly. Radiator's leaking. It's either fallen off, impaled in that wheel, or it's just leaking. Nice landing, though. And that's also the oil pan. Well, destined to die. Not for greatness. No, no, no. Okay, that's... Very smooth. The air, the suspension is very nice there. Okay, how's how's the downhill section looking? You know what? It wasn't that bad. Oh, I've just seen. Oh god, that's oh god. I have noticed the wheel is eating the bumper. That could be a slight issue, but I don't think it's one to match with. Oh, I think that's even more. Well, we can rip this out, we trust. Exactly. Twast. There we go. Bumper removed. Don't know how much damage that did. Oh my god. It pulls, and I went to itch my leg. To be honest, it was quite clean. The, um, ripping manoeuvre. I have just thought about how sensible... A two-seated car for a police car is. Well, that's fine. You know what? It helps. It helps the issue. Now I don't have a car pulling. A wheel pulling. You know, the diagram at the bottom saying that the wheel hasn't actually come off the, um, the, what's it called? The suspension arm. But the fact they've just punctured it. Oh my god, words. I think that shows enough. I want this car to live. Keep living. 
Keep living. Keep going. How's the water? The water good? The water is good. As long as I keep it above 3,000. Keep the engine running. There we go. Smoke and sparks. Oh, the... Oh. Oh, I just thought about the speed bumps. Actually, that wheel is very useful in left turns. Oh. Oh, I'm at risk of my drive shaft now, I've just realised. Because the gearbox will be hitting... Oh. Have I died? Has it died? Come on. No, I, I think I think it's overheated. No, yeah, I think it has overheated. I'm gonna take that as overheating. Well, it's a good vehicle, I suppose. It lived about four minutes. Eh, it made it far enough. Anyway, now we go to our leaderboards. Okay, onto the leaderboards. We have the ETK Ute, the New Zealand Popo. And I'm not gonna lie, it made it further than the bloody awful one. I'm not having that. So I'm gonna go back, review both footages, and see who made it further. Once I figure that out, you'll see the bloody awful will be higher up. Because, yeah, died by overheating. Sad times. Which is, yeah, it's not very common overheating. Oil pan is. But this one wasn't fully oil pan. And then in 17th, 10 behind. The Marama rear wheel rear engined, which is very, very sad, really. I thought it was going to be better than that. Yeah, it was not as bad as the ETK 500 series, so I'm do doing better. With, but unfortunately, at the bottom, with on this page especially, there's just mainly steering issues. Well, that'll be it from this video, and until next time.